Hello, this is Ju. Hey, look what we have here. We have a bathroom sink, and look what's happening. It's leaking. Well, I've run the hot and cold water, shut it off as much as I can, and I cannot get it to stop leaking. Well, we're gonna fix that today. So if you have an older style faucet, you may just need to replace some uh, washers or seals. Um, either remove the handle and figure out what kind of seal you need, purchase it, replace it. But for more modern uh, uh, bathroom sinks, uh, you will probably need to replace the cartridge. And this is uh, what it generally looks like. It may look a little bit different in your sink. Also commonly, uh, they come with these kind of base seals and sometimes even a little spring. This once inserted kind of goes on the bottom and as it turns, it kind of turns the water on and off through these holes. So your issue may be this base seal or it may be the cartridge itself. They typically come in packages, so you might as well just purchase them as a package. Now, if you don't know what kind of cartridge you're looking for, you may need to open it up. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, take off the handle, look at your cartridge, maybe even bring your cartridge to the hardware store and match it up. So let's go ahead and replace this cartridge. So the first thing you want to do is get underneath your sink and turn off the valves, the shut off valves to your uh, spigot. Now, if you don't have these valves underneath your sink, you may have to turn off the water uh, into your apartment or house directly, and so that'll turn off all the water. But hopefully you will have these valves right underneath your sink, and you can just go ahead and twist and turn off the water. So I went ahead and turned off both the hot and cold water. Even if you think you know which side it's leaking from, you want to turn off both because you could actually get water circulating back. And so you need to turn off both hot and cold to stop the water. And then next you want to take a screwdriver, typically a Phillips, but it might be a flathead and look for a screw on top of the handle and remove the handle. So you just remove the top screw there wiggle the handle off it may be easy it might be hard but take the handle off and put it aside and there you go you can see the cartridge right underneath that looks uh, identical at hopefully identical to the one I purchased but before you take out that cartridge you have to typically take off a little nut so we'll get some a crescent wrench to take off this nut Like that. And then to remove the cartridge itself, you might be able to do this with your fingers, but sometimes you'll need some pliers just grabbing the tip. But I'm just gonna wiggle this, and there you go, it comes out. And then where the cartridge came out, you can see that little seal right there. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver here, if I can pop that off. It's pretty brittle. Take some needle nose pliers. Yeah, it's breaking apart, so this is probably the issue. And there you go, it comes off with the spring. Okay, so looking at the cartridge, the cartridge actually looks pretty good. The seal is, uh, the little O-ring here is in good shape. And to be truthful, since the leak was coming out of the spigot itself, that generally implies that it's the base seal that is bad. And you can see that this one's, you know, starting to fall apart. If it was leaking at the base of the handle, that typically means this little O-ring was bad. And so I think I'm gonna just reuse this existing cartridge. I bought one, but I might as well save that for a different time. And I'll just replace this base seal. So we'll go ahead and take the new seal, put the spring in, and just kind of fit it in there into the hole. And then make sure that it's moving up and down, that it's nice and springy, that it's in the hole. And there you go, it's good and go ahead and replace, let's see, I believe it came out this way. If you put it in the wrong way, 
these holes will be uh, oriented the wrong way. So you wanna make sure that you take, put it back in the same way it came out. There we go. And then of course, the little nut. Tighten up the nut. Not too tight, just, just so it holds in place. And then the handle. Put the handle in, make sure that it moves the way you want it to move. And then the top screw. There you go. And now I'll go ahead and uh, do the same thing to the other side. And then with the water back on, we'll go ahead and try her out. Both sides seem to work. And I don't see any leaks. So I think we fixed this problem. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.